Hello, I'm Trevor Wood, the Newcastle-based writer and author of my debut novel, The Man on the Street. Uh, it's a pacey crime thriller about a homeless man called Jimmy, who's a veteran suffering from PTSD, who sees a murder. Uh, he's not quite sure what he's seen, and because of his past, he doesn't really want to get involved in anything. But he then sees an appeal from a young woman about her missing father, and she reminds him of someone from his past, so he gets dragged into it. Uh, as part of my research for that, I started to um, work at the People's Kitchen, which is a, a fantastic charity in Newcastle, uh, purely run by volunteers that feeds about 100 people every day. Um, sadly, one of the things that's changed for me in the pandemic is that the People's Kitchen has to, had to close, um, so I no longer spend every Tuesday afternoon cooking up a storm um, for a hundred homeless guys. Uh, some of the other things that have changed. I still work in the same place here. I still have uh, a lovely view of the streets of Newcastle. Uh, sadly, they have a view of me normally, which means that all the delivery guys see me sitting here and come knocking on the door with parcels. Uh, that has changed obviously now because nobody delivers parcels here. Um, one of the other things that's changed is my wife, who is taking this video, now shares the house with me during the day, which is normally the domain of me and the cats. So um, we've had to work out how to deal with that. However, she does cut hair, which uh, I hope has worked. Uh, and she also makes beautiful stained glass windows. So if you see there, that stained glass window includes the opening sentence to my book, which is beautiful. Uh, what else? My notice board. The scruffiest notice board in town. Uh, pride of place goes to the email tucked here from my agent Ollie Munson about two and a half years ago now I guess where he said I'm reading your book and really enjoying it and um, can we have a talk in the morning. My daughter Becca is in Vancouver. We were supposed to be visit, visit, visiting her um, on Friday for two weeks. Obviously not going to happen, so we're doing everything on Skype now. Apart from that, I'm surrounded by books. As you can see, there are books here. There's a whole box of books here that I bought from the lovely Forum Books in Corbridge just before lockdown, uh, which is my reading pile. So we come round, more books. One other thing that changed for me, I was due to um, do a series of events and signings. My book was published on the 19th of March. Every single one of them has been cancelled. My publisher's Quirkus designed this beautiful stand for me to use at these things. Not sure it's ever going to be used or ever see the inside of a bookshop and it's got 2020 on it. Uh, so it's no good next year. But who knows, maybe towards the end of the year. Uh, finally, I... Uh, would like to recommend a book by my fellow CWA member, Robert Scragg. Uh, not only a fellow member of that organisation, but a fellow Northern Crime Syndicate member. Uh, All That Is Buried, it's a terrific police procedural. The Porter and Styles series, the third in that series, full of terrific characters, a very twisted villain and a terrific plot. Um, as I say, it's the third in the series, but it works really well as a standalone. You don't need to have read the first two, although I would urge you to do so, but you don't need to. So if you fancy the look of this, dive straight in. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.